Hello, Chris Richter here and welcome back again. We have something a little different for you today and it's been a little while since I've caught up with you. So I thought it might be really cool to have a look at what Moodle is up to and where it is headed. A place to find that out is actually called the Moodle Roadmap. So if you go and check out moodledev.io slash general slash community slash roadmap, you can find out what they're doing and where things are going. It was last updated on the 31st of October 2022, based on when I'm recording this. So let's have a look at a couple of things. Now, there's a few things I wanted to point out about resources and things that you might find useful in here as well. So I'll mention those first, and then we'll start looking at what some of the big picture things are. And some of those things that I think are pretty exciting and some that I think probably should have happened, but haven't happened yet. But let's go. So first of all, there's a few areas that you may be interested in or find very useful. One is the tracker. So if you're into the code and understanding the Moodle code, check out the issues tracker. It'll tell you about issues and uh, things that need or are being fixed or changed in the platform. And you can go and check out the tracker there, which is really interesting. And you can find out lots of, uh, if there's a problem that you've had, you may find others have exactly the same problem too. So check that out. Now there is a Moodle Users Association so you can vote on a new project for each release, what they're planning to do. So if you are if you want to be very proactive, jump into the Moodle Users Association. Uh, the forums are fantastic. There is so much in there that will help you answer questions about anything and everything to do with Moodle. So I go there quite often and have a good read about what people are doing in the forum. So please do that. It's definitely worth it. The plugins directory we've looked at before. So go and grab some plugins from there. or have a look at what plugins are available. And the Moodle Moots, which are the conferences they run, definitely worth going to. I've been to quite a few, spoken to quite a few. They're a lot of fun and you get to discover a lot of things you probably didn't know that the platform does or that it can do and also what other services are out there that help assist you with Moodle. So check those out. They're definitely worth a look. But let's go to the big picture, which is the bit that I wanted to talk about. They had four main goals, which they're aiming for over the next four years. So the user experience flow and that was already started with the Moodle 4.0 version. So you check that out. Um, we've had a good look at that as well. The theme for that, the boost theme and the way everything's structured has obviously been improved. So that's great. And they're working on hundreds of smaller annoying issues they've got here. So that's great. Enabling all developers. There's something really cool in here that I thought um, would be great to see. I haven't seen it yet, but the idea down here for developers is to look at a Moodle plugin service due in 2021. I uh, don't think it's happened yet, but it's an app store type thing where developers can build financial sustainability for their work. More relevant to me and to other people who build this sort of stuff. But keep an eye out for that because it would be really cool if that does happen and if it can be integrated into the Moodle platform so that you know people can just buy a plugin that suits what they want inside the platform rather than have all this convoluted go off and grab things and install separately. But keep an eye out for that because that actually sounds pretty cool. Better integration with Moodle products is really cool and better integration with the world, uh, which is with all the other stuff that's happening with EdTech. So they're the four things that they're pushing now. The actual roadmap though down here notes on the Moodle release, Moodle 4.1, November 2022. They talk about the significant UX improvements for navigation and the main course page experience in Moodle 4.0. That did happen. Now, what they're wanting to move on to, which will be really good, and I, I did actually install a version of Moodle 4.1, which I'll mention in another video how you go about that. They did also mention activities such as assignments and quizzes and improving the gradebook UX is their next focus. Now, I didn't see much of that in Moodle 4.1. There was some small, lots of small things like, you know, button changes and things to make the assignment and quiz look more consistent to the front page, but it hasn't really improved the user experience. And I'll mention one of those, which is something that you may find interesting, is the navigation button at the bottom of the of each page, where you can go to the next page, to the next page, or you can go to the previous page. That disappeared in Moodle 4.0 boost theme. And a lot of people got a bit upset about that because they fought pretty hard to get that put back in when it got removed previously. So now it's disappeared again. So this is something that uh, it makes it a good reason for you to be involved in the whole uh, process and the business side of what's going on with Moodle and be proactive in saying, this is what I'd like, this is what I need. So that was something that was pulled out. But I did look at version 4.1 
to check out whether you know the assignments and quizzes and the gradebook really change much at this stage not a lot i'm assuming that that will just evolve over the next few versions and the assignments and quizzes will improve because they are pretty clunky and do need quite a bit of work so it would be great to see that improve so that's one thing i'm actually really really keen to see the other thing which i think might be relevant to you as well as a, especially if you're a moodle administrator is the security releases for each version of moodle and how often and when they are doing releases for moodle a quick look at the general release calendar just shows you that a major release so that's three point x is every six months and a minor release which is 3.xy is two monthly so that'll be the second monday of july september november march and may so that just gives you an idea of when they will be released and then we also have the moodle 4 version releases just to show you where they all fit into the year of 2022 one thing to be aware of is if you had not have an older version of moodle the support update oh sorry the support time frame from the release uh, is only going to be a certain time period so their, their full support period ends where Moodle will support that product but then they will do security updates to an extended time or six months after this full support period ends so that just means that if there is security issues they will fix them and you can do an up a security update to your version of Moodle to fix that issue so you just need to be aware that you need to keep your Moodle version fairly much up to date as much as possible so that you don't miss out on any of the security updates and that's pretty important in this day and age especially so keep an eye on that the upgrade process it's not all that difficult it's just something that you need to be on to all the time just to make sure that you're not left behind because if you do get too far behind you'll miss out on the security and security and the support that uh, comes with Moodle on the Moodle platform the final thing that I just wanted to cover is the past releases and you can go to the past to the release page that shows you what the current version is, uh, when the versions or subversions were released, what version you probably should be aiming to sort of, you know, aim towards next. So the current security release is 3.9, 3.11 is a current stable, 4.0 is current stable. So either one of those are fine to have at the moment. There is a 4.1 feature release that will show you some of the cool stuff that's happening in the future not something that you want to install on your production server so make sure you only go with these and there is a big process to that install which i mentioned before you need to do so keep track of all that but hopefully just having a quick look at what the roadmap is and where things are going there is a lot happening there is always a lot happening uh, with the Moodle development and with all the plugins that are being developed for it so check all of that out Jump over to this page if you like every now and then and just have a bit of a read through and see what's happening, what's coming up. Hope you found that useful. Make sure you check that out. Check out the courses that I also have on Moodle in the comments. And I'll talk to you again very, very soon.